This forecast is powered by Comfort Now, comprehensive heating and cooling solutions for Atlantic and Cape May counties. Well, it's been quite a while since we've seen winds this extreme. I know we had an event uh, about a month and a half ago, but that paled in comparison to these numbers. Atlantic City at 2 o'clock this afternoon had a peak wind gust at 69 miles an hour. Now, let's put that into perspective for just a second. An EF0 tornado starts off at 65 miles an hour. A Category 1 hurricane, 74 miles an hour. So right there in the middle of all of that. Morristown had a gust of 61, 60 in Fortescue and Harvey Cedars, and I'm sure there was a host of other towns that picked up gust over 60 miles an hour that don't have sensors on our weather network. Lower Alloway Township, 56 miles an hour. Things were blowing all over the place. It was kind of scary out there for a period of time. Luckily, these numbers are gone. We're going to start to watch the values come down, and we will gradually calm down through the course of the evening. Still blustery but we're not looking at extreme wind gusts. Cloudy skies, a rough ocean over Brigantine on our Glen Insurance Cam. There was a lady walking her dog out there, enjoying Mother Nature today. I wouldn't be out there blowing all over the place. 60, wow, that was our high temperature at around 12 o'clock this afternoon before the hammer dropped and we start to see those colder temperatures filter in from the north and west. We picked up almost three quarters of an inch of rain this afternoon on top of the one to two inches that fell yesterday. West winds sustained right now at about 19 miles an hour. Here's a little surface trough up to our north and west. Actually, that sparked some snow showers around Philadelphia. Some of you were reporting some snow flurries through the Williamstown area. Temperature right now of 31 in Philadelphia. We got to 60 earlier on, so we have stepped back almost 30 degrees in just, what, five, six, seven hours? 36 in Atlantic City, and as we zoom in and take a look at temperatures closer to home, 35 for Hamilton and Mays Landing, 35 in Millville, and 38 down in the uh, Cape May area. Still gusting to 29 in Millville, 28 for Mays Landing. Right along the coast, you can get 35 to 40 mile an hour gust, but again, not anywhere near as bad as where we were earlier on. 28 tonight, the skies will clear out. Looking nice, not feeling nice though. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, since it's going to remain blustery, probably real field temperatures in the mid and upper 20, so bundle up. Still have that surface trough to our northwest that swings through. Skies clear out behind it, and we are looking at a clear, and cold, wintry overnight. We wake up to sunshine tomorrow morning, but through the afternoon will likely increase the amount of clouds overhead. And uh, Saturday night into early Sunday morning, we have a very weak piece of energy coming our way. I can't rule out a passing snow shower. So just be on the lookout for that. And then Sunday looks like a mixture of clouds and sun. So 43 is across the board, partly sunny, not as windy, but certainly chilly, feeling like we're in the 30s all day. And uh, your wind speeds for tomorrow, luckily, are going to back way down. 21 in Philly, Bridgeton, 22 in Atlantic City. And this is 10 o'clock in the morning. You'll notice as the day progresses, the values will come down. So by mid-afternoon, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. And then they'll start to shift direction by Sunday and Monday. Warmer weather filters back on into the region. Now the south on Sunday, 48, a few more clouds. Temperatures start to climb. And you might be happy about that. You know, I think at this point I've accepted that there's going to be no winter this year, so I'm actively rooting for spring. I got a lot of stuff I got to do around my house that involves having nice weather, right? Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can also download my free South Jersey exclusive weather app called Norcast Weather. If you want up to the minute information, live radar, video forecast, blogs, and uh, alerts right to your phone, just download it. it. It's a great thing to have. It's free in your Apple and Android store. 55 on Monday, so yeah, look, temperatures do return to well above average. 54 on Tuesday, another storm system comes through Monday night into Tuesday, another round of rain, a bit unsettled for Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures come back down by next Friday at 39, just in time for Valentine's Day. Have yourselves a great night.